Rosa and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be the last video in my three-part series. The first video was the 50% off Salvation Army sale haul. The second part was the first part of this haul, which is the Goodwill it wasn't a sale. Goodwill doesn't have sales. Well, for me at least. This is just a Goodwill haul, so I'm going to show you guys everything in part two right now. And this is everything that I got basically to last me all of December pretty much. I hope that it's going to last me all of December. If you guys don't know, I do list three items a day, five days a week, and I like share and do a bunch of stuff. And it's been doing well for me because I don't know if I mentioned this in the last two parts. I probably didn't, but I am a part-time reseller on the Poshmark and eBay platform. I am not full-time, so I don't go thrifting all the time and things like that. But um, I do go thrift and I list consistently and I sell consistently. So I'm pretty sure that these videos will still be helpful even though I might not be a full-time seller. I have a nine to five job as well as do YouTube. So I do this stuff for fun and to make a little money because I am currently saving up for my wedding. So let's just go ahead and get started. I just got super serious, really weirdly enough. <laughs> let's just go ahead and get started with a video. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't been to the My Patch fan room. We have fun here all the time. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go ahead and get started, girl. So the first thing is this purple item right here. This is a knitted and knotted item. If you guys don't know, knitted and knotted is a an anthropology brand, and it's just this really cute like doll tunic baby doll tunic they actually had three of the exact ones but i only picked up this one because the other ones had some sweater problems and it looked like i needed to use a sweater shaver on it so i wasn't trying to do that this one was like in perfect condition so i picked up just one i left the other two next we have this guy which is a jumpsuit from lulu's it's a dressy jumpsuit so it's black it has a very low v-neck situation and it has a little um, scrunch tie right here and then it has the shorts which I think is super cute and of course it's got some pockets for you girl but it is from Lulu's I thought it was super cute next we have some soul cycle now I do have a story about these soul cycle pants the soul cycle part was ripping off of them so I ripped off the soul cycle because it was gross it was like half off I didn't realize how much like it came off this girl was cycling a lot apparently but it's in such great condition that I was like you know what even though I took off the soul cycle because it said soul cycle on the side on one side and I took it off and these are still in amazing condition they are really nice comfort style leggings so I don't think it really matters if it says soul cycle on the side or not it's just I'm gonna sell them for a little bit less than I would originally but as you can sell and Soul Cycle Performance size small. It's 84% polyamide or poly, yeah, polyamide and 16% spandex. So that is the tag right there. Next, we have the shirt by oh, this is M um, Children's Children's. I picked up one child situation. Iviva, and this is Lululemon Kids basically. It has a little Aviva sign in the back, so if you ever need to find it, here's what it looks like. I've never found this in my entire life, but I found it at Goodwill this other day. Now I can't freaking find it. Oh, here it is. And this is the little sign right there. That's what it looks like, but it's a size 8. It's little girls, and I'm excited about it, so I'll put that up. Next, we have a pelican pattern, and you guys know I am a sucker for novelty patterns. I love them so much. This is actually an H&M dress. But it's pelicans, how cute. It's like a um, shift dress, but the skirt part is really cute and pleated, so I thought that was adorable. I'm just like, pelicans. Like, how can you say no to a pelican dress? I don't, I don't know. That's why I did not say no to it, I picked it up. This is a size US 6. I do wanna say that these dresses run a little bit small because I didn't get like a bad review from somebody at one point saying this dress is not a two, it's like a zero. And I'm like, actually it's a two and it's not fair for you to give me one star because it didn't fit you. And then she gave me five stars because that's how we roll here. Actually, I was also a little bit tipsy when I sent that message, so. <laughs> All right, next is something very soft. I think this is postmark or postmark, yeah, postmark. Yes, it is. This is a postmark medium size sweater. Like I said, anthropology was like waterfalling this time around. And it's just this really nice sweater. It has that same like 
postmark material situation. It has a uh, pocket front, a single pocket, and it's long sleeve. It's gonna be great for this season, especially if you wanna wear like leggings with this. It's a great office wear. I'd wear this to the office. I mean, I'm literally wearing something like that right now. Next, I found some pantalones. I got these because I was all like, why the heck not? These are, I don't know, but I, they are size large. They are Vince pants. They're like Palazzo pants, basically. Vince pants. I want. I actually bought them for myself because I thought they were really cute, but I ain't at that place in my life yet, so I'm gonna sell them. They are size large and they're really, really cute, so I'm excited to sell those. Next, we have this. Oh my God, you guys. I finally found something that says freaking Adidas on it. The last time I did that, it sold for okay money, so I'm gonna do it again because this one is super cute. It's a crop top. It's like that style that's like everyone's trying to wear now, right now. I mean, this is like super cute. The Adidas like print right here is velvety. I'm just obsessed with this top. I think it is so cute. Um, the brand with the three stripes. This is a size US medium. It's just the cutest top. We got some Anzi. I think these are the Anzi ones. Yeah, Anzi leggings. I've sold these in the past. I love picking up Anzi. The tops, not so much, but the leggings, I do. I still have a top like sitting there, but these are really, really nice leggings. These are a size, I don't know. These are called Anzi Flow, size extra small. So they're kind of tiny, but ain't no big thing, chicken wing. Actually, leggings that are in a smaller size sell faster than leggings in a bigger size, which I've noticed. I found this other brand, which seemed cool, so I picked it up. It was kind of like when I picked up Tiki and I didn't realize what Tiki was. I think this might be the same thing. This is the brand Terrez. I don't know. There's Terrez.com, so I'm going to have to look that up. But these are just some lace pattern leggings. They're actually skulls. I didn't even realize that. Skull, lace skulls. Very cool. And they're really nice material. So I think these are, these might be like a good company. I don't know. They just are really nicely structured. I really like them. I actually did pick up a pair of Lotus leggings. If you guys don't know, obsessed with Lotus leggings. If you guys follow my Briar Rose travel Instagram, I post pictures with like this Alice in Wonderland dress. It's from Lotus Leggings. I have my Cheshire Cat leggings from Lotus Leggings. I, so I found like this pink gear, size large. So I don't know if it's gonna fit me quite yet, but I don't wanna sell them. I wanna keep them for myself. So, <laughs> so I'm keeping them and hopefully someday soon I will like fit them. <laughs> More pants. These are Leith. I think these are Anthropology. I'm not sure if you guys let me know, but this is the tag Leith or Leith. And I love these because I love that front cross. I don't know if you can see that, but that is so stupidly flattering. Like that little thing right there, I feel like it looks so good on people. Like just that like front cross, it just looks so elegant and so cute. And these are Palazzo pants 100%. Like look how pretty these are. Like I would wear these on vacation 100% or like anywhere to be honest. These look so comfortable. If these were my size, I would have kept them. They are a size small and they have an elastic in the back, like a little bit of elastic in the back. Um, and they're not see-through. They're see-through here, but they have like shorts underneath so your chonies won't show through. Guys, yeah, yeah. Guess what I found? I found something I never find. Cause the last one I found was actually white and it was actually yellow and the person yelled at me and returned it and then I cried a little bit. But I found some good ones this time. I found. This is, this is, can you see it? Yeah. Lily Pulitzer or Lily Pulitzer. And I don't know, I picked it up and I ran with it because I was like, hell no, somebody missed this by accident. But it's a really cute dress. I think it's an older print to be honest, but um, I think I sold pants with this print. I think I did capris with this print. But it's a dress and I'm excited because like I love this and I have money. Just <laughs> cha ching. <laughs> I always am skeptical until it happens and then I tell you guys when it happens. But I, that was really, really exciting. I found, oh, this. Okay, I picked this up because this was 100% linen, but I don't know the brand. But it's 100% linen, so it's linen. So I'm thinking it's like an okay brand. This is called Artisan New York 100% linen. That's the tag, and it reminds me of so the Soft Surroundings one I just sold. Um, so I picked it up because that's literally why, because it reminded me of the Soft Surroundings I just sold. Next, I got, is this H&M? I think this might be H&M. Yes, H&M cat top, cat dress, my bad, cat dress. Slightly sheer, 
true story. So you're gonna have to wear something like shorts or something underneath it. But super cute kitty cat, long sleeve, prints, novelties, you know. We all know the drill here. Next, I picked up the Zara top. I'm kind of like regretting it now because like it's kind of like not a style, but maybe it could be. It says keeping busy. And this is the front of it. It's sheer, it's it's like a cute cut, but I don't know how I feel about the words. I feel like it's very like not in trend anymore, having like words like this. And it says, as she walked in the room, she whispered softly, she spoke of freedom. I will always remember that night. I opened the doorway and saw through the light. I felt like the light, keeping busy. Final item I got in this hall of halls is this anthropology Vanessa Virginia dress you guys I found one and by the way it's like beautiful <laughs> it's a sheath dress oh sorry shift dress my bad it's a shift dress it's gorgeous it's red it's totally like look at these sleeves though like god I hope I can find a freaking model for this or like a stock photo because these sleeves are magical like I would wear this anywhere and everywhere. It's so beautiful. Just, oh God, look at these sleeves. I can't, they can fly away by themselves. Like, I'm just obsessed. If you guys are wondering, it's a size small and, or size four, and it's Vanessa Virginia. They had another Vanessa Virginia dress, but it wasn't like up to par, so I left it. But, oh my God. Like, when I saw this, I was so happy, because it was just beautiful. It's red, I don't usually pick up red, but, I just thought it was gorgeous. It reminds me of Raya was here. If you guys watch that travel channel, I love her. Raya and Louie are like my favorite travel couple of all time. She wears like flowy things like this and I really love her style and I want to incorporate her style into my lifestyle but since I don't really travel, I feel like I just wear the stuff and then people are going to be like, where do you think you are? And I'm going to be like, I'm in Morocco, like Raya was here. It's cool because she's also Bulgarian which is a place I'd really like to go to one day. That is everything in today's video, and that is the entire thrift haul for December. I am just taking a little bit of break of thrifting. I gotta make sure I make my money back on all this stuff, because I did spend a pretty penny on all of this stuff, so I'm excited to sell it all, and I'll let you guys know. You guys know I do what sold like almost every other week. Um, I just skipped two weeks because of travel and because I was catching up on other videos, but I'm going to be having, you guys are gonna see what sold next week. I'm gonna have two of them go up, but I'm not sure what the next video is gonna be, to be completely honest. I haven't planned that far ahead yet. But this is the last one in this series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't enjoyed the Bright Patch fan band. We have fun here all the time. Uh, 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 I'm, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Yo, what's up? I'm the bad hater. I'll pour you tea. Please don't let it spread. Does it really matter? Cause I'm the mad hater. <laughs>